My name is Arturo Ramos and I work for the Yuma County Library in the Teen Department at Foothills. And today, instead of making a normal book report, we're going to make an actual book trailer. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with book trailers. A book trailer is actually a new innovative way of doing a book report. It's a better way of using visuals and audio and imagery in a sense of describing or showcasing your book so to captivate or to capture an audience's attention. So yeah, that's what we're going to be going over today. Next is the materials that you're going to be needing for your book trailer materials. Of course, you're going to need a computer and editing software. I posted to Canva and PowerPoint. You can use those two to kind of use different means of book trailers that can be created with those editing softwares. Of course, there's a tons more. You can find them online, but these are the top two that, you know, us here at the library, we use. And then of course, the book that you're going to be showcasing. And the thing is with, it doesn't have to be a book in itself as a book, but since we're going over book trailers, of course, we're going to, you, you're going to want the book, but you can also, you do it for video games. You can do it for anime or animations and so forth. You can do it for quite a different things. And there's different ways to showcase your book trailers. But of course, today we're going to be going over just your classic visuals and music that's going to be added on to it. So I'm going to be going over kind of the keys of making your book trailers. And the first key in it is going to be your target. So before you begin creating a book trailer, you must know your target audience. It's pretty much true for any marketing effort. The better you know your potential readers is the better you can cater your message specifically for them. Like what motivates them, what inspires them, where do they find their next books to read. Doing all this will create a profile for your typical reader and craft your book trailer accordingly. The next key is your hook. A book trailer should highlight your book's hook. It's what makes your book unique from all the others in the marketplace and will attract readers. You should be able to define the hook in a brief headline or sentence. Concentrating on expressing this hook will keep your book trailer focused and simple. Instead of muddling with too many details, in an effective book trailer, you don't need a, to summarize your entire novel, nor do you need to express the lesson for each chapter of a nonfiction book. Knowing the hook is helpful in all aspects of writing, publishing, and marketing your book. A powerful hook lays the foundation for a great book trailer. So make sure your hook is kind of your niche to always stay informative on. Uh, the next one is your length. People have a very short attention span. I know I do, for instance, when it comes to watching content. Keep that in mind when creating your book trailer. An effective book trailer should be 30 to 90 seconds in length. Viewers may tolerate longer book trailers depending on how and where they're viewing it. For example, people visiting your website may be more likely to watch a longer video than those who see your book trailer linked from like Twitter. So yeah, consider creating a short and a long version of book trailer if the short format seems too constricting. The next one I'm going to be going over is imagery. Imagery is going to be a very powerful tool when it comes to book trailers. The benefit of using video to help promote and sell your book is that you can use powerful imagery to express the tone of your book. But with this great opportunity does come some risks of setting the wrong tone. One way to ensure you set the right tone is to rely on high quality professional photos, graphics, and videos. Knowing how to incorporate those elements takes an eye for design and knowledge of the latest trends. So consider really doing your research when it comes to the images that you want to post that represents or better represents the book that you're going to be showcasing. Next is audio. Along with imagery, audio also impacts the viewer. When you create a book trailer using mostly text and images, music can be the one key ingredient that pulls it all together and helps set the tone in your book. Book trailer, of course. Additionally, you may include voiceover in your video. The key is to an effective voiceover is not only what is said, but how it's said. So find the right voice for your book. So if it's a dark book, you want to have more of a deeper tone voice. You know, if it's more of a, a family friendly book, you want something that's that sounds inviting and captivating to even the younger audience. 
So yeah, those are the five keys for making the book trailer, target, hook, length, imagery, and audio. Just keep those in mind when you're making your book trailers. But yes, I also, I made an example of one and I will be playing it now. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you guys really enjoyed the book trailer and got as much information as I could give you out. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please come on by to the Yuma County Library, either our main or our Foothills branch, um, so we can see if we can help you out some more.